Hi, Nick Tockert here with the Historical Fencing Guild. And I was really excited this week because I wanted to do a commentary on practical, oops, sorry, practical versus tactical. And you, the, the stutter that happened there is rage-based, and I'll explain why in just a moment. We'll start with this. I did a review on this earlier. It's a very good item. It's the uh, Cold Steel Trench Hawk Trainer. We've used this for a couple of years now. And a little, in a little bit, we're going to zoom in. I'm going to show the amount of damage it's sustained after years of every single practice. It's frankly my favorite offhand item that's not, you know, dagger oriented. It's a lot of fun, and I beat the tar out of it. But the problem is, it is modern. It's a, t it's that tactical, you know. You've got the spike, and, and when I went out, I was excited because I found this. This is the. I'm going to drop this for a second. This is the Axe Gang Axe. It's a trainer based on the ones used in Kung Fu Hustle, which is a great movie. And I got this as excited because the weight and balance are beautiful. It flows. It's so fast. It's such a nice weapon. And then I used it. And I used it against a... Oh, one of these. Actually, this is the exact one. Thank you. A, a Dusik put out by uh, Purple Heart Armory. Wonderful little weapon. I'll probably do a review on these in a little bit. But all we did is some light sparring. Five, maybe ten minutes at the most. And I, this was fresh out of the box. Never been used. Never been adjusted. Here's what happened. Can you take this for a second? Now. The head, I don't know how clearly you can see this, but we're going to turn it around, has burred. It, it, the impacts have put dings and bruising. This is very, very soft plastic, but not flexible. So it's still concussive enough to, it would be massively damaging on soft tissue, but it's simply not built up sturdy enough for even the lightest grade of sparring. And I'm really offended by this because Cold Steel normally makes such a good product. Now I mentioned the, top, the Trench Hawk. It has one scuff, you'll see that? That came from hitting a, uh, a steel pauldron steel shoulder plate piece I believe and it's a corner shot that's the only damage save for some minor uh, superficial scratches after two years of heavy use so I have to do a review on this the grip is beautiful the style is wonderful it's a very practical feeling and implementing weapon but it simply lacks the quality for me to ever recommend it to anybody and I really kind of feel like I got ripped out of about 30 bucks. And so we'll do some other stuff. This will probably come out later because I don't want to waste it. But there's one other thing. Joe, who's, this is being filmed by Joe. Joe, can you film your hand? Just, just show, your, show your hand. What happened is while we were playing, one of the burrs actually sliced his hand open. So, I, I mean, this is literally of a quality issue that I have to deem it unsafe. So I'll probably end up rounding off with a file down the edge, most of the corners to see if I can structurally, you know, just remove the parts that would break off and see if I can make it into something even semi-usable. But I'm really disappointed by this product and I'm really, you know, saddened that, uh, that Cold Steel, which is normally a very good company, would put out something this, the, this ill quality. So, sorry I couldn't bring you better news. We might see some more of it next time. And uh, support your local sword master.